sit. Nice, Ginny. You tell me if this is how a 13-year-old dog plays. I'm talking about you. A few weeks ago, I felt a little lump on Ginny's neck. It wasn't causing her any discomfort, but I brought her in to the vet the next day so he could check it out. And they did a little biopsy and sent us on our way. So the next day, I was at my computer doing some emails and other administrative stuff and the vet calls me. He lets me know that he got the results of the biopsy and did I have a few minutes. Never a good sign. So he tells me that Ginny has lymphoma and that lymphoma is a cancer that's systemic. It's throughout the whole body affecting the white blood cells. Without treatment, the average lifespan for a dog with lymphoma is four to six weeks. I literally was like, you gotta be kidding me. I was just playing Frisbee with her. Whoa, get it! Yeah! And now you're telling me she has four to six weeks to live? It just didn't seem possible. <sighs> so <clears throat> he told me the way lymphoma was treated was with chemo. That chemo was very successful and could buy Ginny another six months to a year, possibly longer. So found out on a Friday, made an appointment with an oncologist, and the weekend leading up to that appointment, I just did a bunch of research on canine lymphoma. I joined a pretty big Facebook group and I posted a picture of Ginny and just said we had just found out and we were seeing an oncologist on Monday and were there things that I should know before we went. I must have received 40 comments from people who were so supportive and so kind. Almost all of them had gone through at least one course of chemo with their dogs and had pretty good results. And a lot of them were into alternative treatments as well, which included cannabis oils, which could also bring about remission, or at the very least, make your dog feel a lot better in the short term. A lot of people talked to me about the importance of a ketosis diet or a low carb diet. And I also got a lot of recommendations for supplements for Jenny. So Monday morning, we go in and speak to the oncologist. <sighs> and right away, she talked about how chemotherapy was the best option for Ginny. And she told us what that would look like. And we listened. But when she was done talking about it, we said, you know, money is a factor for us. And she said flat out $10,000. She was cool though and told us that prednisone, a steroid, could buy Ginny another two to three months. I did ask her about cannabis oils and she told us that she couldn't really speak about it so much but kind of said off the record that she had had really good results with it. So we left telling her we wanted to think about things, but we would start her on the prednisone and that was that. 